My name is Nancy Johnson. I'm from the Kitsan Nation, um, originally from the Kitsugukla Reserve, and I'm Lakibu, which means I'm from the Wolf Clan. I'm a single mom of two wonderfully active boys. I'm working on my bachelor's of education right now. I'd really like to stay in the mainstream education system. I'd like to be uh, an elementary school teacher, or if I couldn't be an elementary school teacher, an Aboriginal resource teacher, whether it be high school or elementary. Those would be, those two would be my 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 passions. When I put the bursary towards the um, tuition, it was like um, I felt like somebody else was supporting, saying keep going, encouragement. Being a single mom on student loans it financially helped, but I seen that by putting the money towards the tuition, I felt that it was like like I said an encouragement for me to continue. Knowing a little bit about Mary's story and the experience that I have had. Um, in a variety of different ways, whether it be recreation, criminal justice system that I've worked, the downtown east side, or in the education system. I can understand Mary's passion, her passion for her position in, in your memorial for her because of her passions, and I feel that I have an understanding of why she had those passions, and an understanding of why her passion was so important to bring voice, a safe space to have that voice and, and an acknowledgement of the, the struggles and challenges that Aboriginal people have in a variety of different social environments. One term I applied for 12 different um, bursary scholarships, got amazing reference letters from professors. All 12 had come back saying, sorry, we couldn't fund you. And that told me that there's a huge need for Aboriginal education, for Aboriginal students to continue in education, but the financial burden that comes along with that. There's like a, a misconception that Aboriginal education is free and that anybody that's Aboriginal can go to school for free and that's not true. We are like everybody else, are responsible for our own financial responsibilities. My education comes through student loans. I've applied to my band funding numerous times and and um, there's just not enough funds. And I can totally understand that because there's a lot of Aboriginal youth that are coming up that want to have a start in life. And, and educa knowing education is one of the opportunities that gets them to choose where they go to work rather than just being placed into a job. So I can totally understand why there's a lack of funding all around. There is, it, Aboriginal education isn't free. 